Hi, I'm the Linux Gamer. I've seen an uptick in the number of confrontational comments on my videos. People using harsh language, you know, attacking Linux and saying that it's somehow a non-viable gaming platform, or insisting that their corporate controlled proprietary systems are somehow superior. Now obviously I respectfully disagree with both those points, otherwise why the hell would I be doing my channel? But instead of taking the tedious route and replying to each comment individually, I thought I'd make this video of the six reasons why Linux makes PCs better. Linux is just plain easier to use. Linux just works. If you want to install a device, you just plug it in. No fuss, no mess. You don't have to be some toe jam eating nerd or have a master's degree in computer science in order to benefit from the Linux environment. For example, if you need help with your computer, just imagine how much easier it is to do this. Hey man, I need help with my computer. My Wi-Fi is not working and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, okay, let me uh, log in remotely and see if I can't help. Versus this. Hey man, I need help with my computer. I, wi fi is not working, I don't know why. Uh, okay, open up your wireless network manager. What's that? Um, down in the system tray, there's like a little icon. System tray? You know what, just bring me your laptop and I'll have a look at it. Linux is constantly improving. When it comes right down to it, the Linux kernel and the free software surrounding it are in perpetual development. The software is being improved constantly by really intelligent, passionate people. Even Windows benefits from open source software. Take Firefox, VLC, or 7-Zip, they're all open source. The quick release schedule, the numerous improvements introduced in each version, and the adherence to open standards leaves Linux and other open source projects constantly improving. And the competition, the closed source stuff, and the dust. Linux is like 300% safer than the competition. Malware rarely targets Linux. Now, that's not to say there are no viruses, but they're highly unusual. I remember being a Windows user. It meant if I wanted new software, I had to go download it from a website. You know, an executable file that you had to trust to do what it says it's gonna do. No, how about not? On Linux, you download most of your software from trusted sources. You know, the distro's own software repository. The creators compile software for the distro and then distribute the binaries for end users. Usually they make sure it works with the distro, though it's not warranted or anything. Linux is platform and corporate independent. Linux distros will run on a Raspberry Pi, they'll run on a cell phone, a PC, a supercomputer, or even a friggin' space station. All without complaint. It's built from the ground up to be portable and platform agnostic. You see, a Linux distribution is not going to remove user-installed programs just because the creators of the distro don't like the software. But for some reason, the competition thinks it has a right to do that? While other platforms have proven they're not to be trusted, Linux is here to provide you with a secure and, I'd argue, altruistic computing experience. Linux is better for gaming. As a Linux gamer, I'd be remiss to not talk about video games. But let's not get bogged down with benchmarks. Let's ignore for a second the fact that Linux generally has less overhead than the competition. And let's, let's forget about the fact that SteamOS is specifically optimized for gaming. Linux has the potential to be the most powerful gaming platform because of the freedom it affords us. As gamers, we're always looking for the next experience. And we understand that platforms shouldn't really be a barrier to having fun. But there are these large corporate entities that are trying to lock us down. They're trying to cage us into their walled gardens and charging a full $60 for a three-year-old game bought through a digital storefront. Now you can say these are console gamer problems, but with Microsoft's heavy hand looming over Windows and Xbox and their merger seeming like an inevitable travesty waiting to happen, you've got to ask yourself, what's going to happen to PC gaming? Well, that leads me to my final point. Linux is free. At the end of the argument, it really just boils down to motivation. Why does Linux exist, right? Because a bunch of passionate and talented programmers got together and said, you know, I want a system that's A, safe and secure, B, one that I can trust, and C, that isn't beholden to any shareholder. Why does Microsoft make Windows? <laughs> to make money, come on. I'll take altruism over profit any day. But free doesn't only mean free like free beer.
free as in the Declaration of Independence, in, in a literal sense. Now, I don't want to sound like an alarmist, but I take serious issue with the way Microsoft abuses its power, its users, and its mindshare. Now, I feel when people attack Linux, they're attacking what makes PC great. Freedom. You know, liberty. The thing what makes us awesome. You see, on Linux, you have a choice. Do you use a terminal or a desktop interface? Do you use Ubuntu or Arch? Do you encrypt or not? The competition is slowly chipping away at choice. They're locking down your hardware, they're installing upgrades you don't necessarily want, they're limiting the places you can get your software from, and they're spying on you. Some might say that Microsoft's ever tighter grip on the PC space is inevitable. You know what? Fuck that. Freedom is inevitable. Linux is inevitable. Resistance is futile. I want to say thanks to HeavyHDX, who partly inspired this video over on our Linux Gaming. And I also want to thank JakeJW93 and EG for their help with this video. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know down in the comments. You can tweet at me at the Linux Gamer, or you can hit that subscribe button. My name is Gardner. This has been a Linux Gamer rant. And thanks for watching.